Welcome back to Calimero Tutorials, I'm Fran and this is the second part of Calimero Tic-Tac-Toe example. This will be a demonstration of advanced tic-tac-toe that uses two smart contracts. One will be deployed on near testnet and the other one will be deployed in the Calimero private chart. As said before, this example will have two smart contracts as we can see on this picture. We have tic-tac-toe.testnet, which will be in the near testnet, and we also have tic-tac-toe.calimero.testnet, which will be deployed in the Calimero shard. The contract on the near side, tic-tac-toe.testnet, has function register player, which will be called when the player A, for example, presses the button on the centralized application. That action will be saved in the contract state and the contract will wait for another player to register. After the second action was saved in the contract, the contract will do the cross shard call that is shown on the picture and that is game started. It will call function in the tic-tac-toe.calimero which will be deployed on the Calimero shard and it will start the game on the shard. The cross shard call will be executed over the Calimero bridge that it will connect near testnet and Calimero shard. After that, the game is started on the Calimero shard and players will continue to play the game on the Calimero shard. After the game is finished, the contract on the Calimero site tic-tac-toe.calimero.nest will also do a cross shard call again to the near testnet and it will do a call that is game ended. It will send the ID of players who play the game, ID of the game and who won this game. This is the example how games and the centralized applications can be run on Calimero private chart and the outcomes can be proven on the near testnet. The basic requirements for this example were explained in the previous video, so please watch it before you continue. First thing, we will need two accounts, one on the near side and one on Calimero side because we are going to deploy two smart contracts. On the near side, I'll be using Calimero tic-tac-toe.testnet, while on the Calimero side, I also created an account that is called tic-tac-toe-cali with the shard name. So now when we have these accounts ready, let's navigate to Calimero examples. And let's navigate to tic-tac-toe folder with cross shard. Let's open this up in Visual Studio Code. And first we are going to set up our smart contract. So let's open up Calimero tic-tac-toe. Let's find our contract. And here we need to change these variables. First, we are going to change the destination contract ID and as it says here, it's tic-tac-toe on testnet. So the account I was using is Calimero minus tic-tac-toe and for the cross shard connector, it's the same. I will leave it as this because this is the shard I'm using. This can be found on your bridge dashboard under cross shard call. So it's cross shard call connector YouTube. Okay, so now we have to change this also on the near contract. Let's open that up. Here, for the destination contract ID, we need to add tic-tac-toe on Calimero, and we are going to use this contract. So it's tic-tac-toe Cali. Let's copy this. And for me, the crosshair call connector will stay the same. Now we are ready to build and deploy our smart contract. First, we are going to build and deploy contract for the Calimero shard, then we are going to build and deploy contract for the near testnet. So let's navigate to contracts, Calimero tic-tac-toe, and let's run build script. This will build our WASM file for the smart contract. Okay, so now let's open up deploy Calimero. Let's check if everything is okay. I will be using tic-tac-toe Kali account. So let's run this, deploy Calimero, and I will pass the shard name, which is in my case, YouTube. Okay, deployment has started, wait for it to finish. Okay, it's finished. We can also check this in the transactions if everything went okay. Okay, we see that the, the contract was deployed. Now let's do the same thing for the near contract. Let's navigate to near contracts. And let's run build. Build was successful. Let's now check the deployment. Here, I will be using the Calimero minus tic-tac-toe account, but you need to use the account that you are going to use on the near testnet. So let's run this deploy script. Okay, and it's done. Let's check this on Explorer. And we see that it was successful. At this point, we have everything that we need for this to work. We are now going to set up 
our front end. As always, the first step in setting up the front end is setting up the environment variables. Let's open this file up. Okay, so we see we have Calimera URL, which can be found on the dashboard, Calimera wallet URL, we are using testnet from my near wallet. We have Calimero token, contract ID, and near contract ID. After you have set up the environment variables, you're pretty much ready to run the front end. Let's navigate to front end and let's run jarn install and jarn dev. Okay, it is started. Okay, we have our front end running on two browsers. So let's log in here. I'm going to use simple tic tac toe one. I'm going to press connect. Here I'm going to connect with simple tic tac toe two. Let's reflash this. I already started two games before, so let's press start new game on both accounts. So start new game and start new game here. Okay, now we have to wait for the cross shard call. We can also check that in the transactions. So we see that four seconds ago, there was a function call. So let's check if our game was added. Let's refresh this. Okay, we see that the game tree is now running. Let's open it and let's refresh it here. Okay, so right now we are only logged in with our new account. We still haven't connected it with the Calimero account because we didn't do any function calls in the Calimero shard. The first time you do method call and this is method make a move, it will also add function keys to your decentralized application and you will be logged in with your Calimero account. So let's do the first move from this account, next, connect. Okay, now we can make the first move. Okay, let's now do a move here. First, we also need to connect. Okay, and let's now play this game until it finishes. Okay, at this point, the game is finished and we can check for it in the past games. We can see that we won. Now, after the game was finished, we can see that also Crosshair call was made to near testnet. And we can also check that in Calimero Explorer and also in the near testnet Explorer. We can check it here. We can see at the end what was the game ID, who won and who played it. This is the end of part two of Tic-Tac-Toe example. I showed you simple version and advanced version. If you want to learn more, you can also check the Calimero blog and Calimero documentation. Follow us on social media if you want to see more content like this. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.